All right, guys, I'm Taj's dad. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some finishing touches on our meal here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, season the rice. And of course you can use whatever kind of seasoning you want. You can do a basic salt and pepper if you want. You can do any type of, um, oh, non-salt seasoning is great too. And if you're really trying to stay healthy, non-salt seasoning is probably the best way to go. Some people add butter into their rice, but really, you don't have to. I used to, but I don't anymore because it's not, I mean, it's just not needed really. So, okay, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Salt-free seasoning, okay? You can get this anywhere. You can get this at your local dollar store, which is actually where I got this. So... Go ahead and sip a little bit more in there. All right. Like that. Go ahead and stir that up. You don't want to do too much, but you don't have to really worry about it tasting too salty because, again, this is salt free seasoning. So you got that. We already seasoned the Salmon, so we don't have to worry about that. You could season the mashed potatoes if you want to. In this family, we don't really season the potatoes that much to the butter. Give this some seasoning because you know butter already has salt in it. So, uh, in case you didn't know, unless you have salt free butter, but we, just, we use more salt than that. So, when you do that, you really don't need any, any extra seasoning. Now, when it comes down to the stuffing, don't need to really add any seasoning in that either because it's already sold in that. So we're all good. Everything is turned off. We're all good. We can go ahead and start serving this up. But before we do that, uh, there's a little, there's some sauce that I wanted to point out to everybody. This is some great sauce. This is American dinner sauce, apple bourbon. Really doesn't matter what name brand it is. If you can find something that says apple bourbon sauce on there, I'm telling you, it livens up every meal. Lines up all kind of meat. Doesn't matter if it's chicken, pork, beef. Now this one actually says pork on it, pulled pork, but it doesn't matter. You can still use it on any kind of meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit of this in here with the salmon. It's gonna give a nice little barbecue type flavor. Not a whole lot, just enough to coat it. Just enough to give it some flavor. I'm kind of getting a little pulled pork look to it a little bit. If you ask me. So we're actually using the right kind of sauce, and you can see we're almost out of it. Yeah. Because What's that one commercial that says? It's some kind of sauce that they, the commercial says, and so I put this stuff on everything. Well, I put this stuff on everything. I think it might be a hot sauce commercial, or it might have been either mustard or hot sauce. Anyway, this bourbon sauce is better than any mustard, it's better than any ketchup, it's better than any hot sauce. Like I said, just enough to coat it. Okay, now, the thing about rice and the thing about mashed potatoes, you can pretty much like top anything on your rice or mashed potatoes, I mean, pretty much anything really. I mean, you can put like cheese on top of your rice, you can put, we can put this, the salmon on top of the rice if we want to. I'm talking about on your plate, when you get on your plate, <laughs> so get on your plate. Example here. Now I 
I was told that this is an American thing. I told I was told by a foreign person. Me doing this, topping my rice with stuff, was more like an American thing. I don't know if that's true. I guess people foreigners don't usually do that. And when I say foreigners, I mean like ethnic foreigners, like um, like say Filipino people. From what I understand, I was told that they don't top their their rice with stuff. That we do that. And they pretty much eat their rice with their fingers and put stuff on the side of the rice. But I don't know how true that is. I think I could have sworn I've seen Asian people top their rice with some stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'm mistaken. But I see. I see mom be doing that. Mom be like, she be putting her rice in it and then put her like chicken on top of it. I mean, she still grabs the rice, of course, but like she puts stuff on it. So I don't know what they're talking about. So. Me personally, I will sprinkle a little bit more of this salt free seasoning on there. And hey, why not? This is maybe a little bit on the twist too. Now, I don't have any gravy, but I'm actually a gravy man, so I'll go ahead and put gravy on my mashed potatoes if I have the gravy, but don't have any today. But anyway, that's what we're dealing with. Um, if you have anything, if you want to put any, any kind of drink with it. So obviously, by looking at us, you can tell we're an ethnic family, we are a mixed family, we are uh, African American, white, Native American, uh, but this is primarily pretty much a black household, right? So, because they say that if you have even just like a sliver of African American <laughs> in you, you're pretty much black, so we just say we're black. All right, yeah, so look, just, just look at us. Like, I mean, I'm light skin, shades. brown we're skin. different shades here, so hey. But anyway, um, y'all see my drink, see my nappy hair, <laughs> black. <laughs> as far as drink goes, of course, since we're a black household, you already know we're gonna go with the Kool Aid. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, yeah, we like that great Kool Aid. Yeah, I mean, you can like put any kind of Kool Aid with this. Um, but you know what? I would say probably because this is sort of like um, a light dish. One thing about light is we don't have any like heavy like pork or beef, we're doing salmon, we got some rice right here. So this is a light meal. So usually like when it comes down to wine, when it comes to like like chicken and just poultry pretty much, you go with white wine, right? If you go with beef, then you go with a dark wine. So, so we're talking about Kool-Aid, I would say we had beef, get some great Kool-Aid. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but since we have a light meal and salmon and everything, I would say just go ahead and go with a watermelon Kool-Aid. Go to watermelon Kool-Aid or maybe even strawberry Kool-Aid and y'all good to go. All right, so. Y'all probably, probably thinking, y'all probably thinking we, 